another Muslim that got cooked and baked and boiled. Who's next? Jesus, Jesus prostrated. How do you know that? So I think I think that's widely accepted by Christians and by Muslims that Jesus prostrated. You know, okay. there's practices practices of the early church prostration, uh, and in Islam, obviously, you know, they prostrate in their prayers. So therefore, the uh, obviously they got this from Muhammad, right? Um, but from what the Islamic standpoint is, um, there's no, I don't, I don't see too much of a clear link. But the prophets, it's a succession of prophets, right? How, how, hey, so how do, how do you, Max? How do you know that Jesus prostrated? How do I know that Jesus prostrated? Yeah. Uh, I believe there's verses in the Bible that uh, that cover that. Very good. So the Bible is what tells you how Jesus practiced his religion, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Oh so God. when Jesus prostrated, who did he prostrate to specifically? What did he call him? The Father. Beautiful. Is Allah the Father of Jesus? Is Allah the Father of Jesus? Define God father. is God. Let father. him answer. Let him answer. Is Allah the Father of Jesus, Matt? So, I mean, God is the Father of Jesus. Then you're not a Muslim. No, so it depends on what you mean by Father. It depends on what you mean by Father. You're not you're not a Muslim if you say that that God is the Father of Jesus, uh, Max, because the Quran is very clear and emphatic about those who say Jesus is the Son of God. You know, it says that God's Allah's curse is upon them, and He is against those who say such things. You get what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. Yeah. So that would mean if if Jesus if God is the Father of Jesus, and that's what Jesus is teaching, then that shows that He's not a Muslim. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. So that's my whole point, bro. Jesus ain't a Muslim. Can't be. And I will prove that Islam is false then. So what if we can prove that the Bible is not a reliable source of information? Would that negate it? What language did Jesus speak, Adam? I don't know what language he spoke. Where did Jesus live, Adam? That's an easy one, man. Come on. That one's easy. I don't that know where he lived. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. To it doesn't change anything. Say that again? I he spoke he Aramaic. Spoke. Oh, see, Max says he's Max knows the answer. I want to know. Uh, for me, it, it doesn't matter because Allah didn't mention the Quran. He, he, spoke, he spoke Aramaic, which is it's closer to Arabic than you know. For example, English is closer to Arabic. Now let's be clear. It's, let's be clear, Max. You're still a Muslim, right? Am I still a Muslim? I cannot say I am. Praise God, bro. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Why would you be Muslim, Max? Why uh, it's, it's, it's because he's re realizing the truth of the gospel. We have a Muslim in the chat by the name. Maybe you can highlight his name, brother, God Logic. Adil Sheikh says, at God Logic Apologetics, I'm leaving Islam. Thank you, Rob Avery, and wish you all the best, Bashir. It's me, Adil Sheikh, who is on the panel. That's all I want to say. So we, Oh, wow. <laughs> because oh, of this hey, live show, he left Islam. Did he want to come up? Up? Hold on, I'll make room for you. If oh, you this propaganda is not working anymore. Oh, yeah, just, just trust shut me. Just yeah, shut, yeah, yeah. Shut, yeah. Up. shut up while we, while we uh, praise God while somebody came out of your dark, fake pagan religion. What's up, bro? Yes, I want to say thank you. Are you what what happened, Adil Sheikh? Did you leave Islam, yes. you said? Yeah, it's too overwhelming, you know, like I've been following Islam for all my life. Yes. Mm -hmm. like and I what got your attention to leave Islam? If you don't mind us asking, I will say, like, what made you, like, what was the main points? I mean, all of it. I'm following every for a long time. Mm. Beautiful. Wow. That's wow, we're happy for you, my friend. To be honest, everything is nonsense in Islam. Yeah. I found out. And we like, agree with you, brother. All of it, all of it. It's not a specific thing, but all of it. Wow. Praise God, brother. Praise God for you. You've been, you're seeing the truth, seeing the light. Rob, go ahead. 
Yeah, uh, so what, what about Adil Sheikh? Adil Sheikh, what about praying with us right now? Lana, shh. All right, we're going to remove, remove her. Yeah, remove this, the, the Satan, yeah. the Shaitan from the panel. Yeah, she's right, manifesting. So Adil Sheikh, now that you left Islam, brother, can we invite you to Christianity and pray with us to accept Christ in your life as your Lord and Savior? Amen. Right, right now I'm too overwhelmed. What do you say? I, I'm can you raise up? Can you raise up your voice? Like right now I'm too overwhelmed. Like I don't want to join any other religion right now because okay. all my life no, no, no. I have I've been living a lie. You know, like I'm literally shaking right. Yeah, it's too hard. I know. I totally yeah. understand, it's brother. Especially, easy, uh, especially being a Muslim and leaving Islam is too hard. And we totally understand that, brother. We'll definitely keep you in our prayers. Everybody, please, right. in the audience, keep the brother in you guys' prayers. And I highly suggest you, brother, you know, but listen I to God's logic. Yeah, but listen to God's logic, like how he I preaches about Christianity and, and gives his uh, teachings as well. You know, you got Sam Shamon, he's another brother you know, in Christ, amazing brother that actually teaches really good regarding Christianity. And I obviously highly recommend you to open the Bible and read. Uh, start with Gospel of John, brother. Can you all pray for me right now? Yes, we can. Of course, yeah. <clears throat> go ahead, God Logic or anybody sick. Yeah, you can, guys yeah, do it. yeah, I'll go ahead and pray for him. Father God, we thank you. First of all, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your son who, by the power of the Holy Spirit, brings those who will hear your voice out of the darkness. We thank you for chasing after the one sheep who was lost. And we thank you, Lord God, for holding on tightly to them, revealing yourself to them, bringing them out of darkness and revealing them to your marvelous light. Lord God, we appreciate you. We ask God that you protect Adil. We ask that you place your hand upon him, send him your spirit, Lord God, to walk with him daily, to be in his ear, to be in his sleeps, to be in his dreams, so that he is overcome by your grace, overcome by your love, to where he now is running after you. You have brought him out of the lies of Islam. You brought him out of the darkness of Islam. And now, Lord God, he is in the space where he can be open to you and to hearing your voice, hearing the gospel of your son who came down in the, in the flesh for a deal, for me, for all of us sinners, to die on the cross and rise again for us so that we're not stained by our sin anymore, but we come and we are resurrected into new life in you. Lord God, I ask that you reveal yourself to a deal. Bring him home to you, Lord God. Bless him, protect him, cherish him, and show him why it is that you are the true God. Show up to him, Lord God. When he calls out to you, make yourself known to him, make your presence known to where there's no way in the world he can deny that it's you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Beautiful. Uh, by the way, Adil, uh, you know, we know we know how hard it is for any Muslim to leave Islam. So I, my, I salute you, my friend. I'm really happy for you. And I have, I have much respect for any Muslim who, when he sees everything in, on the screen presented to him from his books, that he has no other choice but to leave Islam. So my brother, uh, Rome was not built in one day. Uh, we, we pray for you. The whole chat is praying for you. Everybody who is listening is praying for you. So brother, uh, take your time. We know it's very hard. Take your time. Rome wasn't built in one day. Then when you have time, when you, uh, you, 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 know, you, you fix your stuff, start reading the Bible and pray to Christ. Pray to Christ. Pray to Jesus Christ. Tell him. Ask him. If you are truly who you said you are, please guide me to the truth. Show yourself to me and guide me back home. So, brother, pray tonight or pray tomorrow. Whenever you, you, know, you think you're ready, pray to him and ask him to help you in your life. And you will see clearly that Jesus had a plan for you today, my friend. God bless you. Stay safe. We know the consequences of any Muslim who leaves Islam under Sharia law. We know the capital punishment. So stay safe and be blessed in the name of Christ, the true living God. God bless you, brother. I want to say something to Bashir. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, Adil. Make sure you speak up louder so that he can hear you too. We want yeah, to come you. closer to the mic. Now? Yeah, yeah, it's better. Yeah, Bashir, so the sooner you will find out 
uh, I know you are uh, you are honestly answering every questions, and I was I joined live yesterday also, and the sooner you will find out and leave Islam, the better it will be for you. That's all I wanna say. Amen. You are a young guy, no? Amen. Yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Adil. Adil. Hope to see, hope to hear from you soon, brother. Yeah. yeah. All right, take care.